Welcome to the Marvelous Moms Club podcast. Discover yourself, break out of mediocrity, and become the mom you've always aspired to be. Here's your host, Kirsten Tyrell. Thank you so much for listening today, you Marvelous Mom podcast listeners. I am joined by a very special friend who I have known for I don't even know how many years, since probably Mm -hmm. middle school, high school. Middle school, for sure. Yeah. I moved there when I was 13, yeah. 12, 13. Yeah. So we're talking like more than half of our life ago that we met and yeah. became friends. <laughs> yeah. Crazy. We go way back. <laughs> yeah. So Laura lived down the street from me when I lived in Southern Utah. And thanks to social media, we've kind of kept tabs on each other here and there. Our lives have totally gone opposite directions, but she married her adorable high school sweetheart And I wanted to bring Laura on today because she's a super inspiring person as far as um, health and fitness and just she's always been that go-getter personality. She is not afraid of challenge. She is just one of those people you watch and you're like, man, what is she going to do next? She's been an amazing mom to watch and I'm going to let her kind of talk about her family and her journey, but she is, you can find her on Instagram. She's Marathon Mama La. So she is a major marathon runner. Your your goal is to run a marathon in every state, right? Yeah, my hubby dropped the surprise on me and said, hey, what if we do this? And I was like, yeah, sign <laughs> me up. Let's do it. We're going to do it together. So awesome. Our first, well, this will be our third marathon together, but our first one will be in February. So Cool. So yes, yeah. this is Laura. This is Laura Cope of Marathon Mama Hello. Law. <laughs> that was kind of like a very long introduction, but just talk a little bit about you and your kids and what phase you're in right now with mommyhood. Okay. Well, I don't know if I deserve all those accolades, first of all, you but do, you, do. you know, I'm kind of trying to survive <laughs> like many of us, but I just had my fourth kid and so we have a seven-year-old boy, and then a five-year-old girl, and then a three-year-old boy, and a eight-week-old little girl. <laughs> so it is all kinds of fun at our house. Um, and they're all kinds of beautiful, too, just in case. They, they are beautiful little. <laughs> <laughs> they are beautiful little kids. They are so much fun and full of personality, which is great and also can be a challenge Mm -hmm. as a mom (laughs) they don't necessarily I I usually talk about it as in we're raising a a house full of Indian chiefs and nobody (laughs) nobody just wants to be an Indian but (laughs) you know I think these um really great leadership qualities will come in handy like as they grow, but they just still need to harness them. So (laughs) sometimes it can be hard, but, um, and that's what mommy's for, right? (laughs) Absolutely. So, but I love being a mom. It's like, as soon as I became a mom, I knew that that was what God wanted me to do. I, I knew I was doing exactly what God wanted me to do. And I have loved being a mom and it is, the best and hardest thing that I've ever done (laughs) and ever will do, but it is the most fulfilling thing in my life. I just, I love those kids, even with all the ups and downs we have, it's just, it's just a happy, a happy life over here, you know, not without its challenges, but, um, I don't know. What else do you want me to say? No, that's perfect. That's perfect. So talk a little bit now about Um, you as a person and kind of what you do to stay fulfilled. So even though those kids are super fulfilling and awesome, what do you do to stay sane? And what's your, what's your thing? Talk a little bit about running and. Okay. Well, um, I have been running since I was in high school and I didn't know that I loved it until I did it. I ran my (laughs) first marathon. My dad kind of bribed me to do it. And (laughs) after that first whole training period and after I ran the marathon, it was like I was hooked. I ran every marathon I've run. Let's see. I've run every marathon in St. George since almost every year. I've taken a couple years off to have babies or (laughs) one year we were out of town or we didn't, you know, we moved away. So I had to 
run a marathon in North Carolina instead, but I just love running. Um, it's really been a therapy type thing for me. Um, I go out and it's truly, truly like my commune with God. <laughs> like yeah. I can sit there and I can think and I can think through life and whatever's bothering me and whatever is, you know, whatever, yeah. whatever, wherever my mind goes. And I just feel so fulfilled after, um, anytime I have frustrations, I mean, yesterday I like tried and tried and tried to get out, but life was just so crazy. We, <laughs> with four kids, we're trying to find the new normal. Yeah. So, <laughs> so I'm like trying to clean up the house and take care of the kids and everything like that. Finally, we had two kids that needed naps. So I was like, okay, perfect. So I loaded them up in the double stroller and off we went to the park and I got in a few miles while they slept and awesome. all that kind of thing. You just have to be flexible and making the time for it. Um, so many times I don't want to do it. <laughs> Even though you love <laughs> it. <laughs> because I might be tired or because I might be, you know, life is crazy. Maybe it would just be better if I don't do it today, you know. Yeah. But when I do get out there, it is... It's just what I needed. It's like my happy pill, you know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's like, like a healthy way to just get out there and, and fill up my cup as a mom. That's awesome. So I've I've loved it. And I um I actually after I had my third kid, my little Henry, I couldn't run. I every time I would run past like I'd run a mile and a half and I'd have to stop because I had excruciating pain in my hip. Oh my gosh. And um, I didn't know. I thought I had tried to run too quickly after I had been pregnant. I couldn't run during my pregnancy either with him. I didn't know what was going on. So anyway, I um, had to go. I decided to go to the doctor and see what he could do for me. They didn't know what was wrong with me. Um Everybody that had the same symptoms as me was usually overweight or a smoker, and none of that really fit my <laughs> profile. So they sent me straight away to get some x-rays, and it turns out I had an ovarian tumor. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, so – and it was the size of an orange. Oh, my <laughs> like, gosh. Right? Sitting – like, it basically ate my ovary – and wow. every time I would run, that would twist inside my hip and stop. I just had to stop running, and wow. I didn't know what it was. Anyway, um, so that was a big trial for me. I didn't know if I'd ever be able to run again for so long, for like a whole year. I couldn't do any running. And so I ended up getting certified in a couple other exercise things that I loved. And that was giving me the the exercise endorphins that I needed yeah. and then finally once we got that figured out I got it removed over Christmas so that was like two years ago wow. <laughs> almost exactly and um a few months after that I was able to run another marathon so That's awesome um having it having that experience of not being able to be active like I wanted to mm -hmm. really even just made me love it even more and just appreciate when your body is able to move, you need to move. You need to, like, you're given this body and if you don't get going and using it and helping it be healthy, then you're wasting, you're yeah. wasting your life. You're, you're God-given precious gift of a beautiful body that loves to move, so... I love that. That's so true. And I think that applies to so many different things of life. Like we weren't put here to kind of coast and be mediocre. And, you know, that applies to motherhood. We weren't given kids to kind of like barely figure it out and wish there was a rule book. We're here to kind of write our own rule book and write our own manual to motherhood. And we're here to like do it 150,000% because you're never going to like you're never going to regret that time. And when you're older, you're going to, you know, you're never going to look back and be like, oh, I wish I would have sat around more. <laughs> yeah, exactly. The benefits are just so 
infinite. Yeah. As as you continue to age and and grow and. What are some and of the I, benefits you have now? Like, what? How does that? How does that help you cope? Carlos <laughs> 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 names cope. <laughs> um, how does how does the running help me cope now as a mom? Yeah. Well, um, just frustration and you know nothing life true life not life portrayed on social media most of the time Mm -hmm. it's hard and it's full of ups and downs and it's you know there's things coming at us from every angle whether they're in our control or not and um I just think to be able to have that kind of meditation time and and time to um get those endorphins I think it's just huge like yesterday like I was saying was kind of a hard day and when I was done I was like that happy mommy I could go home I could have a fun night with my family and it wasn't a problem you know I usually whether whenever I do I do it early in the morning Mm -hmm. before anyone's awake or I do it just like like I said when the kids are napping we usually load up I have two at home with me still to go to school Um, I usually don't have to do it in the evening. I don't like to exercise in the evening because then you're kind of wired up for the, or you don't have a whole lot of energy left over. (laughs) Yeah, exactly. (laughs) I'm not wired. I'm wiped out. (laughs) So I really, it just really works for me. And honestly, I see the healthy habits without, without me pushing it on my kids at all. I've seen how it's translated to them and how, they love it. Like That's we good. love to five Ks as a family, and we're doing one next weekend. Actually, That's cool. um, I'm gonna be pushing two, maybe three. Well, one will be on and off the stroller, but <laughs> in a four mile run, and my oldest boy will be running with me, That's and so then cool. my husband will be running the half marathon. So we're excited to do that. But we just love to sign up for, you know, local races wherever. There's so many family-friendly races. And truly, if you think your kids can't do it, you will be so surprised. They will love it. They will love running through that finish line and feel so accomplished. And they get, you know, whatever, whatever, goodie bag or a shirt or a medal or, you know, like it's, it's, well worth it. It's money well spent, in my opinion. Um, with my blog, it's been great to to be able to do that kind of stuff. And I mean, the kids just love it, and they're all involved. And yeah. you know, it's a great family function to do. So they just they love it like I do. And yeah. it's it's even like my little my daughter. She just she is in her happiest state whenever she's out exercising, whether we're all hiking or whether we're riding bikes or running. She's just like her mom. <laughs> so, she comes alive. <laughs> yeah, it's, just, it's really cute and fun to, to see that. Well, and so. what I love too about that is like the discipline that you're teaching them that's going to, you know, apply to all parts of life as they get older too, because one of the, I, I talked to Laura a little bit about the podcast that I listened to, 8 Minute Millionaire, and Tara on 8 Minute Millionaire talks about how, actually I don't think she talks about it on there, but she told me once, whenever somebody wants advice and to get started like business-wise and you know to learn how to succeed, I always give them a physical challenge first. I always tell them to start running or start doing exercise three times a week because if they can do that, usually the other stuff is super easy. So I figure, you know, if you can master your body and master, um, those habits, then I think everything else is just going to seem like, I mean, not that life's always going to be perfect and easy, (laughs) but you can kind of see how it flows from there. So that's an awesome example. And just creating like that passion amongst your kids without forcing it is kind of what we want to do. That example is what we're seeking after. So that's really cool. Yeah, absolutely. The mental strength, um, alone that lesson like learning that lesson like that you can do hard things and it's not going to be easy but you can get through it is incredible for marathon running and even just any type of racing I I love doing 
all kinds of things. I'd like to do like a um, ultra marathon. I've done triathlons. I I just love it all. I'd like to do a half Ironman someday. Yeah, I'm not surprised. <laughs> I, I also, I also want it to not like. It comes with a cost yeah. to do that type of training. So I want to wait till my kids are a little bit older so that... You're not pulling too much time away. Yeah. yeah. I, I, I don't want to be selfish with my <laughs> training. But but yeah, the mental strength just um, teaches so many lessons. And I had the opportunity the other day. I was running and I had my oldest boy um, riding his bike alongside me and he fell and got hurt and scraped his knee really bad and was crying. And, um, we talked about, you know, I guess you can be done if you want or, or you can get back up on the bike and prove to yourself that you're brave enough to keep going. And so he got back up on the bike and he finished the two more miles with me and it didn't phase him. And he felt so strong after that, you know, and, Empowered. To see him learning those lessons, and I, I was able to tell him a story about a similar experience I had one time. It was actually on the loop in St. George, <laughs> and I fell, like, right at the beginning, oh, and I had, like, 10 miles to go, you know, and I scraped all the way up my right side, and I told him this story, and then I, I just got back on, and I just kept going, and And, you know, you just see his little wheels working in his head. And he's like, I can do this, you know. So it's just such a great way, like especially exercising as a family, if you can find ways to do that. Sometimes it's more of like a stop and a start and a stop and a start Uh type (laughs) exercise. But it is so fulfilling for for everyone involved. And talk, okay, I want everybody to know, because you even kind of touched on this social media perception is so different from the real perception. And you've talked about ups and downs, <laughs> but yeah. Laura doesn't, she's not just like stay at home mom and takes care of four kids. How present is your husband right now? What is, what's going on <laughs> in your life right now? <laughs> oh boy. Well, um, we just finished medical school. Um, it wasn't just medical school. My husband did an MBA at the same time. Oh my gosh, I don't even think I realized that. <laughs> yeah, so he got his MD, his medical degree, and an MBA, wow. master's in business, and he did it together in four years. Oh my and we gosh. started with, when we started, we moved to Texas and we started, and we had two kids already. So wow. we had our third kid like right in the middle of the craziest time. And, um, it was hard. (laughs) (laughs) Understatement. (laughs) You just learn to be strong. You just, you, you just do it. And I had a gym membership and being able to go to the gym or go exercise. I ran with the running club there in my city that I lived in. Um, I could either go run with them early in the morning or I'd go exercise. And the kids love to play, like, with all their friends in the little gym um, play place. But that got me through, honestly. Um, It came with a lot of stress, you know, things that my husband was doing and things that I can't help him with, you know, to watch kind of struggle, sometimes kind of hard. And it's just... um, and having our third kid was really hard. It was, like I said, it was at, like, the hardest time. My husband was studying for um, the test that would determine if he could be a doctor in what he wanted to do. Mm-hmm. So so it wasn't, um, it wasn't an easy <laughs> road. Yeah. But um, we definitely just, we got through it. And the exercise seriously saves my life. Like yeah, that's so awesome. <laughs> I don't know how I could do it otherwise. And I feel like um, we did it well. Yeah. Our we family totally did. thrived and had a great time. And now we're here in Arizona for one year. And then we make our way to Utah where he'll do his um, dermatology residency. So 
it's a long road of a medical <laughs> doctor. It's a marathon, right? <laughs> It's a marathon, so I guess I'm well equipped for it, yeah, right? Yeah, you to- that's a really cool metaphor we just figured out there. <laughs> there you go. I know. Especially the, like, the mar- metaphor of a marathon goes, it's, it's life. Yeah, like, it yeah. goes so well with life. And I think with my husband's career, we're at like mile... 18 probably yeah <laughs> so, so you're getting there you can you can almost are. see the end in sight but you're still yeah. you're still quite you're not quite past I mean you're just past the middle something I think is really interesting is how you say like it saved your life and you couldn't really live without it and from the outside looking in for most people I mean I would like to think all of us get the exercise we need but sadly most of us don't me being one of them that's something I'm working on right now Um, we can look like I followed your life and I'm like, how is she out there doing this with three kids with a husband in medical school? How does she make the time or how does she have the endurance when really from your perspective, you're like, how could I not, you know, like this is, it's true. It's my saving grace. (laughs) Well, and to be honest, um, I've gotten a lot of flack before really for, for what I do. Yeah. Um, I don't think people... When people aren't happy with their lives, maybe that's kind of where that stems from. But definitely, um, you know, I've had people say, oh, I bet, like, how can you run like that and not neglect your kids? Oh, my gosh. (laughs) Or (laughs) you just gave the coolest example. I was going to say something about that, too. One of my excuses is I don't have time to exercise. My kids have nap time. If I, you know, between there was like a phase for a little while there where Felicity would nap in the morning and then Parker would nap in the afternoon and I was like home ridden. I had never really thought, I mean I did try a couple times, I think I did think of this, but it didn't really work out for me. I could have kept trying. Have them take their naps Mm -hmm. in the stroller while I'm outside because it's, they do get really like sleepy. Sometimes they're super alert and aware of everything fun around them, but mostly they're just kind Mm -hmm. of like chill. I'm surprised at how relaxed they are when I push them in the double stroller. So yeah, but yeah, that's there's true. Haters are gonna hate, and that just means that you're doing something right that people wish they could be doing. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, it's a constant readjustment. Yeah. I've trained with running clubs super early in the morning, and I've trained like like I am right now. It's more, it's more often with kids in the stroller, occasionally at the gym. Um, every now and then I'll get a run by myself, mm-hmm. which is a treat. Yeah. <laughs> and it's a lot easier than pushing like a hundred pounds. Yeah, I can imagine. Forward, but, but that's making me stronger. So I appreciate that about it. Well, you're amazing. You really are. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to post, you. I'm going to post on the show notes where you can follow Lara because she's super fun to follow right now. It's we're recording this during the holiday. She's been doing yoga with her elf on the shelf, which is super fun. (laughs) Yeah. So she's not all about running. She's very, very well-rounded when it comes to exercise. And she does it in such a way that you'll be inspired. You're not going to be intimidated or feel like you can't do what she's doing. And of course, maybe starting out, you won't be able to, but it's such a good, it's a good thing. It's a good thing to have show up in your Instagram feed and remind you that you need to get your body moving. You should have that as like your, your slogan, like make your body move. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> well, I think it's also important to find what kind of movement you yes, love. Yes. Because there's so many different kinds of exercise and, you know, not just running. Some people hate running. Yeah. I have a secret ambition to go to be on a rowing team. Really? You know? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> That's like, awesome. You just find what works for you and you do it. <laughs> you can. And when you are on a rowing okay. team, I'm going to come and watch your first okay. race. I cannot wait, and I still have to figure out when, like, how that's going to all work out, but that's my next goal someday. That's awesome. <laughs> it's a good goal. I mean, where yeah. do you go after you've run all these marathons? You have to have something a little bit different, right? <laughs> <laughs> well, I just love physical activity in general, and, you know, we've been hiking here in Arizona, and it's just been amazing, beautiful weather yeah. here in December. I bet, <laughs> so. yeah. We are definitely yeah. not snow ridden. Makes it oh. makes the years a little bit more fun in some oh, regard. Absolutely. We don't have yeah. to stop. You can, you know, we don't have to stop what we're doing because winter comes. We get to keep going. I know. So that's awesome. Yeah, I had to kind of stay inside during the summer though. It was 
Oh of yeah, under- that's true. <laughs> I forgot about that it. part. <laughs> you have that. You have the perfect. Yeah, sure. <laughs> I do. I do. It's pretty much like eighty all year long, except for a few weeks here and there. <laughs> okay, Lara. So the question of the day: What makes you a marvelous mom? <laughs> Well, define marvelous. (laughs) Marvelous to me doesn't mean being perfect. And even though I feel like that's what social media kind of depicts most often. Mm -hmm. But um, when I became a mom, I just knew that this is exactly what I needed to do with my life. It was the one thing I was made for, you know? Yeah. And then as life goes on and I become acquainted with the mommy trenches, I just it's hard. It's not glamorous. The dailiness of motherhood is so hard and taxing. But um, the two things that I have found that really help me to be a marvelous mom in training (laughs) is um, making time for physical activity for myself and for my family. Because I just think it helps us all connect and have fun together. And, um, you know, whether it be running a race or getting out on a walk and a bike ride or a hike or playing games outside or something like that, I think um, we get time together as a family. We get to have fun. We, we talk. We play. And it's just wonderful. And for myself, when I make time for physical activity – um, whatever kind of exercise fits you, what you love. I, for me, if I do it in the morning or just whenever I can fit it in, um, it helps me to deal with my stresses of the day and to have endorphins and more perspective on life and, and let me start my day without the day starting on me. Yeah. I can run the day instead of it running me. Um, I love it. That's the best quote. I'm putting that at the top of the podcast. <laughs> let, <laughs> I, I, yeah, run the day and don't let the day run you. Perfect. But um, the most important thing also, the second thing that is the most important thing to me is um, that I, I've i learned that I don't have to do this alone, that I I know that I have – that I can pray to God, who I believe is a loving father in heaven, and he knows these kids better than I do. And that um, I know that he can help me to give them what they need. I just have to rely on him. And um, he'll help me be the best mom that I can be for these children. And, you know, I may not be like Susie who does this or (laughs) Sherry who does that, but I know that I will be what he needs me to be for my children. And that will make me marvelous in the end. That is beautiful. (laughs) And it's not easy, but it is so, so worth it. (laughs) Yes, it is. Remind myself that and, you know, that gets you through the hard times. Yeah. Thank you so much, Laura. That was such a beautiful sentiment. I love both of those things. And I appreciate you putting thought into that and making time to express that with everybody else. So everybody go check Laura out at MarathonMama.com. Follow her on Instagram and be inspired by all of the wonderful things that she's out there doing and taking action in her life. And I personally am already inspired by Laura and I'm excited to go and do a a little bit more with my family. So thanks again for being here, Laura. Thanks, Kirsten. We we love you. We love you. <laughs> Have a good day, everybody. Bye. Wow, what an awesome way to end the week. I have just loved everybody that I've talked to this week. You guys have probably loved everybody that I've talked to. It's been super fulfilling and very, very fun. Thank you so much, Laura, for sharing your excitement over getting healthy and fit. So just in case you guys haven't yet, make sure you're sending me your list of those things that you're proud of and you're accomplishing. And maybe after today, it's going to be that you went on a walk with your kids or something cool like that. Make sure you're sending me your list or sending me something on your list or just chat with me about it a little bit. Shoot me an email and you could be the lucky winner of a five milliliter doTERRA oil. So make sure you guys do that today because I'm picking a winner on Sunday night. I will talk to you guys Monday morning and announce the winner. Can't wait to talk to you then. Have a great weekend. <laughs>